Hello and welcome back to The Note. Well, second thoughts are proverbially best and the market is having second thoughts after Wednesday's historic rate rise by the Federal Reserve. You saw initially uh, in Asian markets in Europe a continuing almost euphoric gain for equities following the strong close on Wall Street. But then Wall Street opened and the oil price continued to fall and you can see the result here taken from the Bloomberg. I'm sorry about the image quality but as you can see crude continued to fall hit a new low for the year and the S&P 500 not in any way coincidentally tracked it lower. It has now reversed out all of its gains made after the uh, FOMC announcement on Wednesday. It is back in negative territory for the year. Broadly at this point fears about the commodity market, fears that deflation is going to swamp everything are enough to uh, crowd out even uh, optimistic projections by the Federal Reserve. To ram that home, let's take a look at uh, this next chart, which is uh, of the CRB Commodity Index. It's a broad index of uh, commodities, one of the longest kept indexes. And you can see that today it hit a new low, which is, uh, brings it to a fresh low for the last 13 years, lower than it was at any point even during the crisis year of 2008. Now, when you have this kind of belief that uh, deflation is here to stay from the commodity market, then that will mean that bond yields will fall as they did today for the 10-year, uh, despite uh, the uh, rising projections from the Fed. It also means that the dollar will strengthen, as it inevitably does when commodities are weak. For the time being, even if the Fed is making clear its intention to raise rates, the belief in the market is that the strength of the deflationary pressures from the rest of the world showing up in the commodity market will mean that it won't do that.